everyone. It's Ellie. We're here at another hidden gem and we have two special guests today. Alyssa Delgado, who's the Parks and Natural Resources Coordinator from Scott County, as well as her dog, Maybe. Hi, everyone. So Alyssa, tell us a little bit about the uh, uh, Cedar Lake Farm. So Cedar Lake Farm is one of several parks that are operated collaboratively through the Three Rivers Park District and Scott County Partnership. Cedar Lake Farm is about 240 acres sitting right along the picturesque uh, Cedar Lake. The park is great for all seasons. It has uh, hiking trails that you can use in the winter or in the summer. Um, you can, on the lake, you can either do uh, ice fishing in the winter or in the summer it's really great for non-motorized boat use, just picnicking by the lake. Um, there's a swim area. Um, there's also opportunities for shore fishing. So what would you say makes this park a hidden gem? This park is a hidden gem, particularly for its beautiful location. Um, it's a really unique spot with the views of the lake and the old oak trees and the old barn. Um, I also think this park is a, a great hidden gem because it's got a short-ish uh, 2.7 mile hiking trail that kind of loops back around to the lake and you can see a lot of different landscapes. So it's just a nice quiet escape from the city life that's not too far away. The natural resources of this park look pretty unique, as well as it seems like there's some restoration work happening around the lake. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we've worked uh, pretty hard to restore a small wetland in the shoreland buffer um, alongside the lake, about an 800 foot swath of the shoreland buffer. We did this to uh, support pollinator habitat and also to just help um, work on shoreline restoration. It's a pretty active use area being right along the lakeside with a lot of lakeside uh, activities. So we want to make sure that the lakeside stays intact and we limit erosion as much as possible. And what are some of the landscapes that the park, is it more wooded or prairie? Obviously we have the lake. What can a visitor expect when they're walking around the park? Yeah, we kind of have a little bit of everything. So um, as you can see behind me, we're in an oak savanna-ish area. Um, we obviously have the lakeside. Um, we do have some wooded trails that I highly suggest going to in the springtime because spring ephemerals will pop up there pretty early. Um, so if you're a flower fan, uh, really good to know. Um, but then also as you continue on the trails, you'll see some grasslands and you'll even walk by some of our restored prairies. What are some of the activities uh, or opportunities here in the park for summer? Yeah, so we do have a group campsite that you can rent. Um, that is a really great opportunity um, to kind of get some lake and some barn views. Uh, we also do offer boat rentals, so canoe and kayak rentals in the summer, um, so you can get right out on the lake. And then we also have a small pavilion that you can rent for family events or small weddings. And if you're interested in that, you should visit the Three Rivers Parks website. So we have this barn behind us and uh, this picnic area. Can you tell us a little bit about the history at Cedar Lake Farm Regional Park? Yeah, so uh, one thing I would love to note is that this area that we're standing on is really popular for picnicking, obviously because of the gorgeous views. And residents of Scott County have been coming to picnic here for over 100 years, um, despite the different landowners and the different uses of the land. So it's kind of a cool tradition to come here and picnic too, like people have before you. Thanks to Alyssa for joining us here at Cedar Lake Farm Regional Park. And this was my first visit. It was super fun to come to this area that I don't often get down to. Come visit this park and have your own hidden gem experience.